If you're considering WordPress to build your website, you may not be aware of some of the caveats you need to know before getting started. Here are five things you need to know before creating your WordPress website. This video is sponsored by TrueName Domains. Find the perfect domain for your brand at the link in the description below. The first thing you need to know before using WordPress is the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. So open Google and type in WordPress. Chances are, WordPress.com ranked at the top. You may have clicked it and thought, oh yeah, this is WordPress. I just create an account here, build my WordPress website, and I'm good to go. And that's valid. You could build your WordPress site through WordPress.com. But WordPress.com is not actually WordPress. See, notice that WordPress.com says WordPress hosting in the title. WordPress.com is a WordPress host. They are a company that will run WordPress on a web server and allow you to use it. So they're a host similar to GoDaddy or Namecheap or Dreamhost or Bluehost. WordPress.com just happens to be run by the same team that manages the WordPress.org project. WordPress.org or WordPress is an open source website builder that's free to use, meaning it can be installed on any web host. But WordPress.com looks all official because it happens to be run by the team who manages WordPress.org and they have rights to use that branding. So should you use WordPress.com? Probably not in most cases. I have an entire video on WordPress.com versus WordPress.org so you can understand all the intricacies and what you need to know on the topic. But for most people, I recommend you stay away from WordPress.com for various reasons. Stick to using WordPress.org and install it on web hosting from DreamHost or Namecheap or any one of those web hosts. I have lots of videos comparing the best web hosting for you. The second thing you need to know before using WordPress is that it's not a drag and drop platform. Well, not really. There are third-party page builder plugins you can install that give WordPress powerful drag and drop functionality. These would be plugins like Divi, Elementor, and WP Bakery. These are very commonly used plugins, and chances are, when someone talks about building a WordPress website, they are using a page builder like this, but they typically don't really mention it by name. Now, in recent years, WordPress has started to introduce a sort of drag and drop builder called Gutenberg. That's a page builder that comes with WordPress. However, it's just not powerful enough yet to replace Elementor or Divi or WP Bakery in most cases. So if you install WordPress and you don't use a page Builder plugin, you may be frustrated by the limitations of building pages and creating posts, and you may be confused at why it's maybe not as easy as you thought to drag and drop elements onto the page. The third thing you need to know before using WordPress is that you need a security plugin. You might be saying, Christian, what do you mean? Doesn't WordPress have a username and password? And the answer is yes, but also your WordPress site is going to get targeted by hackers. They're gonna to try to spam your login page and get into your WordPress site. You may be saying, Christian, I'm just some local bakery or I just do lawn care in my city. Nobody's gonna try and target my business and get into my website. That is wrong. If you run WordPress, you're at high risk. Why? Because for hackers, it's not personal. They don't give a rip that you're a lawn care business. They don't care that all you are is a local bakery. Hackers want to get into WordPress websites because they're easy to exploit, they're universal attacks that work on WordPress sites that don't have security plugins, and once they get into your WordPress website, they're not trying to do anything personal against your business. They're after your WordPress site to get access to your web hosting. Once they get in, they're gonna do things like put up spam pages on your site and include those links in emails. You know when you click a link and it goes to those pages saying your computer was hacked and you need to call this 1-800 number and it's all a scam? Those pages are hosted on web hosting somewhere, and they're hosted on web hosting accounts of vulnerable individuals who had a WordPress site and they didn't protect it properly. So I highly recommend the WordFence plugin. It's 100% free to use and has a built-in firewall that will block repeated login attempts. It will also allow you to enable two-factor authentication on your website. So that way, if someone did guess your password, they would still need that temporary 2FA code to finish logging in. So as you can see, it's critical to protect your WordPress website. It's also important to secure your online branding. That's where the sponsor of today's video comes in. 
True name domains. Your domain should clearly describe who you are and what you do. It's a more significant part of your brand than ever before. Good domains are notoriously difficult to find. What you think is your perfect choice is already taken, or it's not clear what your options are. The great news is that there are new domain options that are not only available, but more relevant and memorable. Most people know about .com domain names, but there are actually hundreds of other domain extensions that you can use that are often a better fit for your brand and business. A lot of these fall under the brand of true name domains. True name domains have anti-phishing technology, which blocks malicious variations of your domain name being registered and used by hackers. They're more specific, prevent compromise, and tell people exactly what you do and what you're about. They're also treated the same in SEO as legacy extensions. There are true name extensions for brands spanning almost any niche you can think of. So if you're a creator, you could use a .studio. If you're a gamer or live streamer, you could get a .live domain. I'm so excited to bring my community a special offer for you to get your own domain for your project, whether it's one you're actively working on or something you plan to launch in the future. My friends at Dynadot are offering 50% off standard true name domains for my community. I've been using the domain name Krayler.media to represent my business for many years and I think it's a much better choice than CrailerMedia.com. Go to the link in the description below or go to Dynadot.deals to get the exclusive offer of 50% off with promo code Crailer. Simply search some of your preferred keywords and you'll be able to browse all of the available domains. I really want to know what the domains are that you chose. Go ahead and share the domain or domains you got in the comments section so I can check it out. Thanks to True Name Domains for sponsoring this video, and now let's get into the fourth thing you need to know before using WordPress, and that's the fact that there is no official WordPress support. Now since WordPress is an open source project, this means that you're not paying to use it. And as a result, there's no support team that's there all the time to help you. There is no email or phone number or chat to contact WordPress for help. Now there is a help community on the wordpress.org website and there's a lot of highly trained individuals, some of which work very closely with WordPress, who are hanging out on the forums in the community and they're around to answer questions. So it's not like there's zero help or support available with WordPress, but there's no official support or central place that you can get guaranteed help. You're just gonna have to post to the WordPress community and sort of hope for the best. And the fifth thing you need to know before using WordPress is that backups matter. I cannot stress this enough, you want to find WordPress hosting that's going to give you automatic daily backups. If not daily, at least weekly. But why are backups so important? Well, earlier we talked about the importance of a security plugin with WordPress, and backups are sort of part of that. If your site ever were to get compromised, even if you're using a security plugin, having daily automated backups means you can roll your site back to the night before when the site was compromised, and everything is back to normal. You never want to be in a position where your WordPress website gets compromised and you have no backup to restore to. Trust me on this, you do not want to have to remember to take a backup manually. You want a web host or a solution that's going to automate WordPress backups every night so that way it's always there if the worst were to happen. I recommend using web hosting that does this for you. Some hosts that are great with backups include DreamHost and Cloudways. I have an entire WordPress hosting guide you can refer to that will help you find a solution with automatic backups. So those are five things you need to know before using WordPress. There's no reason to be intimidated by WordPress, and knowing these five things, you can go in much more educated and ready to learn and figure out how to build your first website. When you are building your website, make sure to take advantage of 50% off your true name domain at the link in the description below. If you like this video, definitely check out my WordPress web hosting comparison. With that said, I'll catch you guys next time.